Hi, welcome to Posting Groups in NAV Part 3. In this video, we'll look at the tax posting groups in NAV. If you haven't already seen Part 1 and 2 of this video series, the link is in the description box below. In Part 1, we discuss what are posting groups and how they work, and in Part 2, we delve down into the different posting groups. So what are tax posting groups? Tax is paid by the end consumer, including businesses. The principle of setting up tax posting groups, both business and product, are similar to those used for setting up general posting groups, shown in part one of the video series. There are two types of posting groups. Tax business posting groups specifies who we sell to, customer, and who we buy from, vendor. Tax product posting groups specifies what we sell, items and resources, and what we buy, items. Examples of tax business posting group could be countries you do business with, because each country has their own set of tariffs you need to abide by. Another example of business posting group can be different provinces and states you do business with. For example, here in Canada, there are different taxes based on the province you're in. You set up tax product posting groups to indicate the different tax calculations needed for the types of items or resources you purchase or sell. Based on what I just explained, I'll show you an example of how NAV handles tax posting groups. The tax posting setup window specifies which accounts will post tax. In the tax business posting group, you set up tax business posting groups to distinguish between the types of customers and vendors. You can use the tax business posting group to determine calculation and posting of tax. For example, by specifying whether the customer or vendor involved in the transaction is located, is located in your country or overseas. So for example, this tax business posting group is called EU, and the tax allocated with it is 25%. In the tax product posting groups, you set up tax product posting groups to indicate the different tax calculations needed for the types of items or resources you purchase or sell. In some situations, tax is included in the price of goods and services on items or resource cards. In such situations, you must fill in the tax product posting group field. So you'll see tax business posting groups in customers or in vendors. So if I go into a specific customer, and here is a tax business posting group linked to it. And then to see a tax product posting group, you can go into an item or resource. And if I look at this specific item, I can see the tax product posting group is not yet set, but I'm able to use any of these codes. Tax posting setup consists of a combination of tax business posting groups and tax product posting groups. You can set up as many combinations as you need and link various GL accounts to each combination. And that concludes tax posting groups in NAV. Thanks for watching.